welcome to my YouTube channel, Sir Axilang, Grade 9 Mathematics, Quarter 3, Lesson 9, Similarity. Similarity. How can we say that two figures or two polygons are similar? So using this illustrative example, we are going to show you that these two figures are similar. So first, let us identify the name of our quadrilateral. So we have here quadrilateral A, B, C, D, and quadrilateral E, F, G, H. Now, having this as our name of our quadrilateral, we are going to first identify the parts of a triangle that corresponds to the part of the other triangle. Uh, of the other quadrilateral. So again, we are going to identify the parts that corresponds to these two given figure. So having this name, so we can say that angle A corresponds to angle E. So when we are going to write the correspondence so we use the symbol of an arrow so meaning angle a corresponds to angle e then angle b corresponds to angle f then angle c corresponds to angle g and angle d corresponds to angle H. From the figure, we are going to identify which of the angles and the sides corresponds to one another. So, let's start with the angle. So, angle A, angle A is for angle E. So, the, the symbol for correspondence is the arrow. So, it is read as A corresponds to E. Then, angle B corresponds to F. Then, angle C corresponds to angle G. And, angle D corresponds to angle H that is for the angle then for the sides we can say that AB side AB corresponds to EF then side BC corresponds to FG then side CD corresponds to GH then side DA corresponds to HE So alam na natin kung alin ang counterpart ng ng mga parts ng bawat uh, angle and bawat sides From the figure we can say or we can identify which angles are congruent so, from here, we are going to base from the given markings. So, for H, no, 4. Okay. So, angle A is congruent to angle E. Angle B is congruent, dalawang markings, to angle F. Then, angle C is congruent to angle G. And angle D is congruent to angle H. So that is for the angle. Now, for the sides, let's get the measurement or the pro proportion 
of the given side. So, let's have quadrilateral ABC B to quadrilateral EFGH. Okay. So, I will have AB over EF so that is equal to 6 over 3 and that is equal to 2. Then, BC over FG. So, that is equal to 10 over 5 or which is equal to 2. Then, CD over GH. So, that is equal to 6 over 12. Oh, sorry. That is 12 over 6. Which is equal to 2. Then, AD over EH. That is equal to 8 over 4. Which is equal to 2. Now, what can you say about our proportions? So, the proportions of the sides are equal. The proportions of the sides are equal. So, as you can see, our angles, the correspondence of an angles are congruent. And for our proportion, sides are proportional. Now, this is a quadrilateral ABCD to EFGH. So, how about quadrilateral EFGH to quadrilateral ABCD? So, we'll have EF over AB. So, that is equal to 3 over 6, which is equal to 1 half. Then, we have FG over BC. So, that is 5 over 10, which is equal to 1 half. Then, GH to CD. So, we have 6 over 12, and that is equal to 1 half. Then, DA. Sorry. So, we have H. H E this is E so H E over D A this is equal to 4 over 8 which is equal to 1 half now what did you notice as we reverse or as we interchange the proportion so the first proportions are equal to 2 then when we interchange the proportion is equal to one half so still sides are proportional now how can we say that figures are similar so again our angles here are congruent and here our sides here are proportional so how can we say now that two figures are similar. So, we have here, similar, so two figures are, we have, okay, for us to say that two figures are similar, so, di ba kinukuha natin yung uh, proportion? So, kanina, so we have AB over EF, and that is 6 over 3, which is 2. Then, BC over FG is equal to 10 over 5, which is equal to 2. Also, CD over GH, that is 12 over 6. Then, DA over HE, that is 8 over 4. 
So, this is equal to 2. This is equal to 2. So, meaning, we have proportion, the sides are proportion, and 2 is what you call the scale factor. So, 2 is what you call the scale factor. Illustrative example. So, we have here a 5-sided polygon named A, B, C, D, E and F, G, H, I, J. So, measurement of side A, B is 5, side D, E is 3, side F, G is T, and side J, I is 6. So, sets here that if A, B, C, D is, by the way, this symbol is for similar. Okay. So, if A, B, C, D, E is similar to F, G, H, I, J, then, so, angle B is congruent to what? So, again, we are going to take a look at the correspondence. So, A is for F. B is for G, C is for H, D is for I, and D is for J. Okay? Then, angle B is for angle G. Okay, then, how about angle J? Angle J is congruent to angle, where do you find angle J? So, this one, so it is congruent to angle E. Then, okay, how about for the sides? So, we will have CD over HI. Okay, that is equal to. So, nasan si CD? Ito. Corresponds daw kay HI. So, we can have it at pwedeng DE corresponds to IJ. So, pwede yun. Pwede, pwede namang equal din kay um, CD, HI, pwede rin BA over BA, GA, G, F. So, equals pwedeng BC over GH. So, as, since they are similar, so every proportion of the sides here are equal. Now, what is, this, what is the value of T in the given? So, what's the value of our T? So, we are going to get the proportion. So, we will have AB over FG is equal to, so, gamitin natin yung may given sides or measure of the sides. DE over IJ. So, this is equal to, so, AB is 5 over FG is T is equal to D is 3 over IJ is 6. Okay, then, this is equal to, cross multiply, so we have 3T is equal to 5 times 6. So, we'll have 3T is equal to 30. Then, divide both sides by 3. So, our T is equal to 10. So, letter B. What is the scale factor of FGHIJ similar to ABCDE? So, kanina, our T is equal to 10. So, we are going to get the proportion for the first triangle dito sa proportion sa second triangle dito. So, ito yung first, ito yung second. So, ang ating kukuhanin ay yung may given as na measurement ng side. So, we will have F or FG over 
AB is equal to IJ over DE. So that, that is equal to, so we'll have FG is 10 over BA is 5 equal kay IJ is 6 over DE which is 3. So this is equal to 10 over 5 that is 2, 6 over 3 that is 2. So therefore, our scale factor is 2. Now, kaiba siya. Kung ating kukuha din ng scale factor ay A, B, C, D, E similar kay F, G, H, I, J. So, nagvavary siya. So, ito naman magiging A, B over G, F equals I, J over D, E. Kaya siya equal sa 5 over 10 is equal to 3 over 6 which is equal to 1 half. So, ngayon, ang scale factor ni ABCD similar to FGHI ay 1 half. Kumpara kanina kay FGHIJ similar to ABCD na 2. So, scale factor varies. So, ang ating scale factor nagvavary Depende sa given na similarity. Please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell para sa mga bagong videos upload ko. Thanks for watching!